Hello guys and welcome back to Gamers for Life, it is Ben here and today we are back with episode 3 or we're back with The Walking Dead season 2 episode 3 in harm's way it was interesting yesterday with season 2 and now we're back on season 3 uh, it was season 2 episode 2 now we're back with episode 3 earliest I've ever done this but yeah let's get into it um, let's go start episode 3 I'm also wearing a black t-shirt, which could blend in there. The red that sticks out less than dark scene. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. No! Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah! Go to hell, you We're going home. As a family. Lil. Yeah, yeah, the episode two and one are really short, they're like an hour and a half each. It's crazy. <laughs> Normally you get two hours. And I still messed up a few times as well. You about done over there? Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. We're safer if we stick together. It's gonna be dark soon. Yeah, I know. But it's cool you came. I thought they were gonna tell my dad to go with me. Thanks. You're welcome. Troy, get him tied up. Weird. Will do. That guy seems a bit kind. Well, we're on our way. Unless of a day. Probably thirty minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carve her out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? Where's your manners? <laughs> You're an ass. No, stop! You don't want to test me, girl. I'll pass every time. Leave her alone. She needs you to talk about the real world. Tie her up and throw her in with the rest of them. Uh, I hate these people, and I'm going to kill them if I have a chance. Yeah. Just for pulling a gun on me, I'm going to kill you. Are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey, did he hurt you? Hey, 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 hey! Can you chill the hell out? All he done was to go for a piss, and he slapped me around the face. I had worse. This is interesting. <sighs> I'm gonna kill Carver. <laughs> I miss Lee. <laughs> I still miss Lee. <laughs> He's actually a really good character. He kept us safe. All right, we gotta do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that gonna do? 
the hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. The truck's empty. First off, we're in it, so it ain't exactly empty. If you don't want to help, then just say so, okay? I'll do it myself. Do it then. We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Sit that. down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. You don't understand. <laughs> he's different. He's worse. How can someone be worse than what we're saying? What are you talking about? He wants to punish us. You could have warned us. Yeah, you didn't tell us he was a fucking psychopath. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. <laughs> I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with him. Oh shit, jackpot. Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? Kenny, please, calm down. I think everyone is just tired and cranky. She's right. We should all take it down a bit. All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. It'll be fine if you actually told her what the world was like. the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. That guy's a flake. I could tell the second I set eyes on him. Kenny, please calm down. Please. We'll have to wait and see. It's all we can do. She's right. There's no way to know what's happened. Yeah, Kenny's alive. I told you already. He's gone. We're close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just if something happens, just help out, okay? You're gonna get yourself killed, Kenny. Get yourself Kenny. hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Hey, Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? Kenny, please, just, just listen to them. They know him. What he's capable of. Maybe we should wait. Maybe come up with a different plan. I okay, um, that's okay. That's okay. All right. Everybody, run. Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? Is he okay? I think so. Don't ask. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. Damn brakes ain't working for shit. All right, up and at him. The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Now, I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back. But they left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. Might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. So be patient with them until it does. Take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did. But we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Seems like a good guy. How much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. I'm saying we take this place. Come on, we need you for something. Can I wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. I need him. I need my dad. I, I can't 
He's, he looks after me. You'll learn how to look after yourself, you fool girl. I hate people like that. He'll be back. When? I don't know, but he will come back. Thanks, Clem. Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can save you if you're messing with it. Just to survive. It's our obligation to make this community a beacon. A beacon of hope. Carl, you'll get killed again. A bright light. Bright enough to shine in all this darkness. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest. Cause there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Reggie! <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. <sighs> Reggie helped us. Finally ran away. Why didn't he go with you guys when you left? I think maybe he was supposed to, but then he fell, and everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. <laughs> so they cut him off as punishment. They got me working outside. The worker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you. Alvin, Carver wants you in his office. What? Why? Don't make this difficult. It's too late for that. No, please. It's okay, Beck. Just get some rest. If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. I'll be fine. Let's see what he wants. All oh, right. So th this is the account where. Oh, hey Troy. The people from 400 Days went. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. Make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. So, the guys from 400 Days, this is where they've gone. All right, let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey, uh. Hello. Who are you? This freaks you out. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Pete Ed. What about Nick? Nick's dead. He was always taking stupid risks. Can't say I'm surprised. Poor guy. Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up early. What a jerk. Clementine, please. You haven't even met him yet. Oh, she's not wrong. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired. But, like I said, he saved my life, so... I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. Who's she? Hmm? Who? The girl over there. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just like the grossest shit. It's probably bad. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. 
Yeah, but the... I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. Carver killed my friend Walter. Okay, I, I don't know what happened, but maybe he had his reasons. His reason is he's a crazy piece of shit. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. We won't get you in trouble. They're expecting me to keep things in line out here. Well, if Carver's such a great guy, I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. <laughs> Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. I want to leave with my family. That's it. Your family is safer here. Safer, that's a load of BS. Yeah, come on. When you can't make your own decisions, BS. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, oh, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Man, fuck that guy. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I don't trust him either. He acts strange. Yeah. I guess getting part of your body chopped off can do that to a fella. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. Well, what should I be looking for? Stuff that they don't want us to know about. That Troy asshole's gone for now. <laughs> this is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Walker just snuck up on you, huh? <laughs> All right, um, let's keep looking around. This is better than the ground. This is just a prison, basically. Hmm. Looks rickety. Looks kind of crappy. <laughs> it's only soil, love. Nothing else. Seems pretty secure. Mm hmm. Exploit. Hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. Screw she you. ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? Screw you, Reggie. I'm a kid. That's what kids do. Explore. Ouch. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. Let's 
keep looking, just keep looking, just keep looking, just keep looking. Reminds me of the jewelry store. Well, oh, great. Clementine, please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey, to. What the hell is she doing? No, oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids. They love not listening. You had one job, Reggie. It's a real disappointment. You're gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, <laughs> come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. Dad! Oh, you're all fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey! It's fine. I am Indian. <coughs> Everybody get to bed. What an asshole. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill all of these jerks! Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good. Good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. I don't know, they don't seem very nice. And if they're gonna put us on manual labour and just do loads of... force us to do labour, screw it. It's, it's a prison then. Ass. Don't kick me. It's rude. Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. What are you going to do, shoot her? There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now, there are some folks might be sore about what happened, and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here. Forgiveness. By proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. You know, Reggie slipped up last night, but... That doesn't mean he should lose hope. Today will be a test for him. So let's all wish him the best of luck. How'd you sleep? Screw Reggie. I'll let Reggie be an example I'm to you all. So tired. Salvation is available, but I didn't even must be earned. Jennifer will be taking over Reggie's well, duties don't have outside to be the wall. Rude about it. Michael will continue on I showing just his value. Carlos! Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I, Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. S I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. <laughs> Screw Carver. Wait. I'm not sure with my hand that I could. Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some mammy pammy thing, alright? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Go on, Carlos. Just get it over with. I'm not gonna say she. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. What ass? What an ass? Do it. Do it. I'm gonna kill Carver. I'm 
sorry, sir. Stop! You're not coddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Carl is such an ass. Post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. She's the woman who went to the camp and said, Oh, we got a nice camp. Really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. And she was like, oh, yeah, this is a nice place. It's very nice. She's such a bitch. Screw you. She was with Carlos and Sarah. Uh, and Sarah? I wish she'd stayed gone. She's had a hard time, Becca. So have we. We're not sitting on the ground like babies. Yeah, I really hate him. Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Oh, this bitch. Can I grab a saw and cut a neck? Just kill her. Get rid of it. Take hey, her AK and I kill her. I guess you're starting your day with me. Shut up, bitch. We're loading magazines. Can I load a magazine into your brain? Oh! That's, pretty well, that's it. You got it. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But yeah, the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. It was just a bad situation. That got worse. A lot of people are to blame. Mainly Kava. big of you, but I know what I've done. But I wanted you to know I regret my part in all this. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable. I mean, my first night in prison. It ain't a prison. More of a work release. <coughs> Didn't they do those in prisons? Yeah, they do. Probably. I don't know. I never been to prison. Don't tell no one. I'm trying to keep a tough reputation. Maybe I can I to use her uh, to get out. All them left, I was planning on leaving too. Or overtake the camp. When Luke approached me about it, I, th I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food. Why didn't you leave? I mean, if I'm being honest, I guess I chickened out. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take this situation with the herd? That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. But nobody's safe here with Carver around. You're safe if you stay on his good side. I would if I knew where it was. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. Easy <laughs> that's pretty good. Big, fed, and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. He killed Walter. Only to protect his own people. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Bill overreacted. He was in the heat of the moment and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. So do I. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. What do you think? I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for skiing. It's kind of ugly. Really? I thought it was kind of cute. Well, this ain't a fashion show. It'll keep you warm. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Hey, Precisely. Yeah. What? 
Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. I hate that woman. Follow me. Come on. So it's nice, and it's a prison. Stay in here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. Screw young and touch everything they can. Hey. You need to be such a baby. You have to be tough, Sarah. Everything is harder now, but you have to be tough to survive. My dad's never hit me before. Yeah, we need to be told the real world. Really bad. He never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. I do. I want to kill all these guys here. They're all asses. Yeah, I get it. I'm gonna mess it up for him. Okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Screw the camp. Come on, I'll show you what. I don't care if the camp goes to hell. Oh, it means I can get out. Bill yelled at me this morning for what you were doing last night. Good. I'm not mad, but please, please just listen to me today. I'm on like the thinnest ice with that guy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Can I reply and say like screw off or something? Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Hey, Emil. Hey, so, is she gonna be okay? No. Nope. Because what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. She's a baby. There's no helping her. Whoa, that's harsh, kid. I think if Bill did that to me, I'd cry a little too. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. She is a bit of a baby. She needs to learn how to protect herself and learn about the world. It's different. That was awkward. I won't do that again. I need to go work now. Ass. Elp Ferrer. Hey. Here, watch me. Just be nice to the baby. Do do do. You have died. <laughs> <laughs> of your work, Clem. <laughs> Just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. Shit. Reggie. Yeah, Bill. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one shut arm. Shut up, so shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. We'll get it done. Just give us some more time. We... It was my fault. I didn't show Sarah well enough. I guess. No, this ain't your fault. 
I tried. We talked about this, Reggie, didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I, I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. See, that's why Carver's an ass. Thanks for the help, of It's actually not his fault, and Carver's just being the dick to him. Sarah. She gonna jump. Please don't jump. <laughs> I don't see that shit on the game. Are you okay? I no, gave no, you no, plenty no. of chances. Please, Bill. No, 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 please. Ah! Weakness, incompetence. It puts us all at risk. And it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! <laughs> so, alright. So he's an ass. Long way down, achievement unlocked. Some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion. Real simple, just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You alright? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe. Maybe it was just an accident. That's not an accident. Listen to me. Going. Isn't that bad? Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Hey, Troy. Clint's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Oh, so it's to the outside of the prison, I guess. That's Reggie. That ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. What are you gonna do? Shoot Follow me. Them cables. Oh. You should make law noise. We should do what Rick did at the prison. We went out with machetes. Let him do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me. You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Reggie's dead. Carver killed him. What? You sure? Or did you <laughs> shit? Fucking grab something. Hell yeah! Time to kill these mother truckers. I'm going, 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 going. Let's go, let's go. Oh my goodness. What an ass. Wrecked. <gasps> Stop Gemma. <laughs> Boom. Can't see shit. Oh, 
I can't spam it in the other! I. Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? I can't wait till they break in. I want them to break in. What's she gonna do? Bite her hand? Ah, ah, stop! Hey, it's me! Luke! Yes! Man, get the hell out of me. I think you drew blood. Come all this way. This is, this is the welcome I get. I was worried. We all were. Well, that's good to see you too, kid. All right, listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. Well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere, okay? They got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I have ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. He said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. Are you feeling okay? No. No, I mean, uh, yeah. Yes. Sorry. I, I just could use some sleep, you know? Hard to rest when you think a lurker's about to get the jump on you at any, any moment. But yeah. <sighs> yeah. I'm fine. Okay, don't worry about me. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. It's what we got. We just... We just need a plan. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. Where do I get one? I think they keep them in the stock room. I ain't completely sure, though. Just keep your eyes out for the charging station. They put most of them back on there at night. Remember. You'll meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Go on. Get out of here. The hell were you doing? Huh? Answer me. I was looking at comics. There's a whole store full of them. Yeah? Oh, shit. You best not dawdle, girly. Pull something like that again and you'll be meeting the back of my hand. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now! Ass. You better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So you should probably go. Shut up, your ass. I don't understand how these people can do this after everything. Rebecca. I do everything they went for in four hundred days. How the hell can they do this? She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Now get in here. Screw you. Alvin? Alvin! 
He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. But why are you doing this? Me and him, we got history. Understand? Uh -huh. things we had to get worked out. I would what, by tying him up and beating him? Being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. What are you going to do? Beat up a kid and kill her? Ass. I'm going to kill him. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are. And you won't end up over in that chair. Now you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. The ass. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. I even does she ass. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You're a murderer. You can try and call it something else. But I know what it is. What it really is. Ass. Listen, Clementine. It ain't murder. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. I think it is murder, dumbass. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature Let's to just keep on this good side for now. I know. I have to do everything for them. It's exhausting. Of course it is. But that's the role you're meant to play. And we're more alike than you think. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. Just get his confidence. Whatever you need. I know I'm just a kid, but I'll do my best. He's gone his good side and kick his ass. Well, I'm gonna kill him. Alright, now. Well? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. See, it's almost supper time. What he said earlier, I'm getting rid of the weak. He is a weak guy. Because he just thinks he can take control and kill anyone. But the others can just overthrow him. If they tried. Because we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Kenny, do not speak to me like that. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. Do you know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointing toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. 
There's a switch in there that'll turn them off. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. <laughs> and it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. No, just do both. It's difficult to deal with sometimes. Henry, why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay. Combine two so good ideas to get the one even there. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the... No, you can do it! No way it's ever going to work. It will Actually, work. Actually, I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Please let me back her up. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Lee figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Sweet. Where the hell did she come from? I like her. We just need a use. Thinks of her You can just climb up from there. Then just drop into one of the skylights over the stock. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. <laughs> that thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at her. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. Now, YOLO! We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. That's right, get the strong black guy to do it. Don't let go. I got you. Fan flipping tastic. That's pretty convenient having the hook there. Try to hurry, all right? I don't think they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk. We're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. Oh my goodness. In trouble. Shoot, that's a lot of walkers.
He's good just looking at those guys. So I'm gonna get moving. Just keep getting moving. Just keep walking, just keep walking. Who it over? Screw it over. Yo low, yo low, yo low, yo low, yo low, yo low. Oh, I'm good. Alright. I'm in a bit more cover now. There we go. So it's good. Just keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving. Wow, that's a big skylight. Thing must be light. Just keep just scout the area first, check it. It's true for one. It's always someone on guard with radios. Shit, I gotta get down from there. And then back up there. What, let Reggie back and Reggie's dead. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? <laughs> I think so. The homestead at least. So Bill's probably said that he's kicked them out. They're out there just moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. I figure we'd be used to it. I'm so good at this shit. You never got used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around. I'll give you that one. Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Now while you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when he brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call the prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? Shoot. I'm a good climber. You can't be smoking back here. Vince, come on. Don't give me that. Quick, 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 quick. With the smoke back here, he'll flip. What are you Vin. thinking? You know what? I'm just gonna tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. Vince. Vince. Vince, come on. Vince. That's the guy who, uh, he got dit. No. He's not the guy who got dit. She's the prisoner. So I don't care about him, he's a murderer. Psst. You get him? Okay, jump down. I got you. We best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well? Come on, Clem. Don't keep us waiting. Got him. Her Mary Poppins back pocket. Love it. But she don't feel the thing. Everybody stay where you are. No need drawn suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. <laughs> it was nothing. Sure it was. Anyway, get some rest. I will. Don't you worry, love. I thought about Duck today, about his dumb little face. The <laughs> things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. <laughs> Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he just run. He couldn't stop. True. Always be quiet. All right, we're all here. Nice to see Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we do it. Time to get up. Daylight's burning. 
They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. <laughs> Rebecca, Sarah, Jane, if you gotta take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. Why just them? Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. Hmm. All right, look. If we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, and we pair up with him, I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? No offense, but come on, that's crazy. She's a kid. Why would there's a million reasons? She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. Who cares? And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important, I'm trusting her. You don't trust me to get a radio to someone? Kenny, no. Mike should take it. Clem, why are you pushing her into this? I can do it. It'll work. All right, little chickens. Let's get to Becky. All right. I don't think today's gonna be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's gonna be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. I heard you, okay? Good. Come on. Oh, you have your pockets all out. I'm sorry, but it's the only way. Gonna get your tags all snagged on something. Pull in a Mary Poppins pocket. Let's go. It's a bit obvious. The intern is just hanging out. Hey, she's with me. Oh shit! I almost forgot. Yeah. Well, take her then. I don't care. Ah, uh, hit me with a gun. What's going on? Never mind. Just chores of a different sort. Come on, city mouse. She had two radiation. She cut her a break. She'd really rather keep with us, people she knows. It's nothing that'll hurt her. Won't they need my help? Well, today I need it more. Come on. She had two radios. Give it to two people. We saw it. Then at least one of them gets down. I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I didn't believe you. When you told me about Reggie, I ran and found Bill once I left you. Figured even if he had done it, he'd make up some sort of excuse. But Bill was just so matter of fact about it. Like he'd pulled up a weed or something. Like it had to be done. And that was just one of those moments when your blood runs cold. Goose pimples up and down your arm. Because it turns out the person you thought you knew was never there. Maybe she can help us escape. You look anxious, Clementine. Something the matter? Maybe she can help us. You know you can talk to me, right? I was dishonest when I first met you, but I swear on everything holy that'll never happen again. You can trust me. Bonnie, I'd... I'd rather be around people that I trust. I can understand you're uncomfortable. I won't force you to be around me if you don't want to. Go on, back out, and be with Kenny. That might have been a bad decision. I could have got her on my side. Shit, that was a bad decision. Reverse. I wish you could reverse. You should get going. Bill don't like idle hands. Shut up. Then what are you doing sitting against the wall? Doing nothing, you ass. And walk along, pop in the room, and uh. Yeah. Y'all better hurry that shit up. I hate babysitting you assholes. Luke? Do you want to make more noise? Luke? It's me, Clementine. It's safe to come out. 
You should have said just leave the radio. That looks really old. He's probably fine. Luke, where is he? Luke, if you're hiding, come out. Luke, are you in here? I swear to Christ, you're gonna regret this. I was. You ain't supposed to be out here. You ass. You people been here one fucking day and already you're fucking up. Will you wait and see what happens? Move! Hey! Ass. Get over there. Biggest dick there is. How is it that we're repaid for our trust? With treachery? With deceit? With theft? What's going on? I don't know, Clem. Whatever you were planning is over. It's done. You can't just run from your problems. You can't just up and leave when it gets tough. Because there's nowhere else you can go where it ain't. Tough is all we got now. Yeah, but at least not being near you is there. Luke here, he can't help you now. You gotta help yourselves. You gotta help me find the strength to forgive you. Now you can start. By telling me where the other one is. I'm gonna count to three. If that radio ain't in my hand by then, we'll have to make things more difficult. One. Should I do it? Should I give it to him? I don't know if I should give it to him or not. Stream chat, what do you think? Should I give it to him? Oh, this is so hard to decide. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I should give it to her or not. I give it to him or not. I just called him a half. Lol. Yeah, give it to him? Okay, I'll just give it to him. Screw it. YOLO. I got, I got it right here. It's alright. I should have said I found it. Sorry about that. Not sure what I was thinking. Three. I gave it to you, faggot. Oh, if he kills Kenny, I'm gonna make sure he dies. Somebody stop him! Let me stop! Go. Clementine, help me! No! Stop it! Kenny! Kenny! Little shit. If he kills Kenny, I'm gonna make sure he pays. Supper for you all tonight. Maybe an empty stomach will give you some perspective. And we'll try this again tomorrow. Ass. Do your best with him, Carlos. You need to get him able to move, because we're leaving tonight. We're leaving tonight. Kenny better not be flipping dead. What'd she say? She said she can get us out of the pen if we get the PA system going. Second she hears it, she'll run over and spring it. That's great. It's not great. What are you talking about? Look, 
I know part of this is my fault. I, I, I know. I was hungry, I got reckless trying to steal some food, and I got caught. Why isn't it great? Because most of us are beat to shit, or pregnant. And besides that, it's risky as hell. Risky? Did you see what that son of a bitch just did? The, the plan works. Nothing needs to change. It's all set up. The hard part is done. This guy's fucking crazy. Who knows what he'll do next? Yeah, but now we're dealing with a guy beat to shit. Sarita in no shape to do anything, and I'm a goddamn mess. Look, we should rest up, okay? We should bide our time, and we should wait for an opening. Bonnie's agreeing to help us tonight. And that doesn't mean she can't do it some other night. We're not waiting. Ain't nothing out there, guys. Trust me, I've looked. There's no food. There's no supplies. They picked everything clean. We need to leave now. It's only gonna get worse. She's kinda dead. Gonna be okay. His orbital is crushed. I don't think there's much hope for the eye. I got him as stable as I could, cleaned it, got some of the swelling down, bandaged it as best I could. But until he wakes up, we won't know if there's any damage to the brain. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch, do that. <laughs> Maybe I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but if damn it, if y'all are serious about going tonight, I'm gonna have to start talking. Leaving some folks behind. No! Fuck you. There's no other way. This is bullshit. Well, I don't like it either, but guess what? It's where we're at. Kenny and I are only here because of you people. And now you intend to leave us behind. No, we're not leaving Kenny. That's not fair. We stay together. Life ain't fair, Clem. We're just trying to make the best well, of the fuck you. situation here. No one wants to leave Kenny. You do. I'm all right, huh? We leave tonight. Plan don't change. You are one tough bastard. <laughs> tough bastards. Get and you're one black. <laughs> right, you all right? That wasn't your fault, okay? It's all right. Free hugs. Bye. to meet up we can meet out at Parker's run what the hell is that it's a civil war site a few miles north tourist trap got signs all over just follow the road we stopped there after we escaped the first time Luke and Carlos know where it is it's not that far well at least if a few folks know where it's at it'll be easier to find if we're split up all right that works then we just need someone to go set off that PA right I mean you never bothered to explain who's supposed to do that Everyone expects me to do it. What the hell? Get a pregnant woman to do it. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. I'm gonna need a boost. Be sure to remember to flip the switch for the outdoor speakers. Just the indoor speakers might not draw the herd. It's right on the microphone box. Right. By default, it's set to play music. So you should just have to turn it on, right? Then climb back up and drop into the stock room. We'll meet you there. Yep, I got it. Cool. So stock room, flick the switch for the outdoor, and by default it should play music. Good. Clem, make sure you bring Alvin. Screw Alvin. Jokes, jokes. That means I get to uh piss off Carla uh piss off uh Bill Moore, I'm fine with it. No. PA system. Okay, now the mic. What? What's 
wrong. No, 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 no. No, where are they? <sighs> come on, come on. Please work. Please work. Yes. Keep the tiniest gun in the universe. There's <laughs> something funny about that. You have the project, we have the know how. How? Come on, we have to go. I ain't going anywhere, but you are. Go on. I mean, to get some payback. No, we're leaving. We're all leaving. I ain't fit to move, kid. I've, I've run out of rope. Good for you. Let's go. What? No, I'll, I'll just go up there and shut that thing off. You gotta get out of here. They'll be here any second. Thank you. You take care of my girls. I get the feeling it's, it's gonna be a girl. Just a hunch. Go on. <laughs> Go. Go. From charcoal recaps to pro painting, help has all you need to make your day special. Make some noise. This week only, Kennedy leaf blowers are twenty two percent off. How's that for a deal? You wanna disrespect me? Fine. You wanna throw away the light I'm trying to build for us all? Then fucking fine. You wanna run off with this dog shit group of crippled fucks? Then fine. Be my guest. But I will put a bullet in you. Oh! Get back! Shoot him. Shoot the son of a bitch. Come on, Luke. This ain't none of your business. Clem, where? Why isn't Alvin with you? Where is he? Alvin. Rebecca, I am. Oh God, I am so sorry. Kill him. Rebecca, Rebecca, sweetie, my God, how did we get here, you and me? Can you give me the gun? Oh, the killer. This is just a bit of a custody battle we got on our hands here. Just shoot him. What? No, I just... Can I do it? Oh, I do it! We have to go. I only need a minute. Go on. You don't need to see this. The bad girl's already seen more than you can imagine. Shut your mouth, Bill. You're all just gonna let him do this? Yes. There ain't one part of that son of a bitch I don't hate, but that does not make this right. We don't have time for this. I'm making time. Look at you, you fucking ingrates. You don't even know how good you got it. Screw you. That's all right. You'll learn. Lambs to the slaughter. Grab his gun. No shepherd to guide you. Clementine knows exactly what I'm talking about. No, I'm not letting you see this. It's not your decision. Had a girl. 
She ain't afraid to look it in the eye. You go with that feeling you got right now, Clementine. That's what makes you stronger than Come the rest on. of them. Let's go. Yeah, go on. Let the sheep out of the pen. We'll see how long that lasts. I'll be right there. You won't see anything. That's funny, coming from you. How's that eye? Just follow my voice. It'll get you there. You got a thick fucking skull, Kenneth. Should've put you out of your misery right then. Now look at you. You're a mess. The fuck are you looking at, bitch? Don't act like you didn't love every second. Eat shit. Damn, that eye is popping out of his head. Look at the eye! Oh, it's gone. Come on, didn't have to knock it back in. You had to look at the eye pop out of his head. You should have seen it, it was like half out of his head. <laughs> Shit. He's not coming back as a walker, I don't think. That's good. Can I have his gun? Let's go. No, give me his gun! I want his gun! I want his gun. <sighs> so she gets it? The hell? I want. Damn. Rehabilitated. Referino, Referino, Pepperino. Shit! I thought they were coming from the south. They did. Looks like we're in the eye of it now. Fuck! This is fucked. Here, you're gonna need something. Thanks. Hell yeah! Do it. Go. I'll go first. You're gonna put that on yourself? She wants to survive. Hey, Eva is going to be out in some of your 55. What is this sick shit? Someone say something before I start. Hey, hey, hey. Don't you even fucking think about it, motherfucker. I will end you. You hear me? Troy. Troy, we talked about this. What? The fuck you talking about? I told you I wanted to get out. You said you'd help, then I'd help. I thought you meant get out of the pen. Not whatever the fuck this shit is. I did. But now we can leave. Troy, you can come with us. What? Well, where would we go? Away from here. Together. Oh, man, you smell really bad. You gotta get a bath before we- <laughs> OW! She just shot dick off! See, Sarah's learning from the worst. Where's Bill? We need him up here. Stay calm. 
Someone's gonna get shot. Someone's gonna get shot. She's dead. She's dead. Get wrecked! Ah! Oh! This is actually quite fun. Oh shit. Cut it off, cut it off! Cut her arm off! Cut her arm off! Passed out in pain. Done, done, done. Next time on The Walking Dead. Sarah's glasses. She's gonna get someone killed. You didn't have to take the radio. Carver wouldn't have hurt me like this. Of course I had to. No telling what that asswipe would have done to you. So how's it look? Am I still gonna be pretty when this heals? You need to get past that walker without drawing all the others. What are you gonna do? Not now. Not now, Dad. Damn it, where the fuck is Luke? They're all gonna die, Clementine. Don't let them pull you down with them. I won't. Most people will die. Chop the Sarita's arm, 82%. Watch Kenny kill Carver, 68%. Ooh, admitted to stealing the walkie talkie, 42.4% of players tried to speak up. 48.7% of players chose to hide Luke's presence. 76% of players helped Sarah. People just came to see, see, keep her uh, losing arms and shit. Alright, I think this is now the credits. We can't watch credits. I'm gonna meet that. Yeah, alright. Well, thank you guys. If you are over on YouTube, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And if you didn't enjoy it, you know what to do. Hit that dislike button. And if you watched this far, type in the comment section down below. Finished. Just do that. It's that simple. Any videos you watch to the end, type in the comment section. Finished. Love you guys. Take care. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.